So we're about to take on uh, San Diego Soccers. Carl made the probable mistake of inviting the San Diego Soccers and they took him up on his offers. I jokingly tweeted like, hey, let's play, and they accepted. So I was like, oh no. It's gonna be a very tough game, especially for a lot of us who are not professional soccer players. I think we're gonna get destroyed, but it's still gonna be fun. Like, that's what the point is, right? So if they make us look foolish, that's what they're supposed to do, they're pros. I'm thinking they're probably gonna beat us 15 nothing, but uh, who knows, maybe we'll get a goal in there. They sent the tweet out uh, calling me out with the soccers, and I was like, yeah, why not? I mean, soccer, I would love to play. Any chance to play, I'd love it. And, uh, you know, absolutely. I did Craig Elston, our, our PR guy, um, he, got a, he got wind of the, of the tweet, texted us right away. He's like, hey, we just got called out. We got to come out and represent the soccers. It's the summer. It's the right time. When, when you're called out, you try and respond. And, I mean, the most honest answer is Craig and Boris could come. The organization asked us to do a lot of appearances. This one's soccer. I enjoy playing soccer. It's an easy one. I jumped on it when I had the opportunity to come out and play. So I actually, I heard about them through social media. Um, they were tagged in a post that I saw. I'm like, wait, Street Soccer San Diego? I checked their page out. And so I started looking at their Instagram and they started liking a few things. I probably heard about them last year. I caught some stuff on Twitter online and, and I knew that they had been out supporting some of our games. and. Uh, you know, I thought it was cool, and honestly, I think this is what U.S. soccer needs. I think U.S. soccer lacks unorganized street soccer a little bit, and the rest of the country does, uh, the rest of the world does not. And so, you know, any, any opportunity to come out and support grassroots in the game in, in like a super organic fashion uh, is good. We have a lot of people that I haven't seen before, fresh faces here, so, and more people still showing up. I don't know, what time is it? We've been playing for about an hour. Uh, just going full speed, more and more people have shown up. We got two teams waiting to come on while four teams play. Uh, Craig and Boris are being great. They're just killing it, staying on King's Court. Uh, I think we're realizing this disparity between professional athletes and hobbyists over the weekend. You know, we had a couple other guys that wanted to be here and th this and that happens, but for the two of them to kind of run the court for a good hour plus, uh, I think it's great. For the, for the kids who come out and, and grown men, there's a, an incredible range of age and skill here at Bridge Barcata. And frankly, you know, you, you talk about Craig Childs, you talk about Boris Pardo, these are two first team all MASL players who have improved their game because of futsal. I don't think there's any argument that this game would benefit uh, youth players. It's going to make you technically better. It's going to help you with the ball at your feet. Um, and it's the reason Brazil and Argentina and Uruguay and a lot of the South American and Central American countries are having so much success. So, you know, it's fantastic for U.S. soccer. And I hope, you know, everyone gets behind these kind of games and gets out into their community and, uh, and participates in the local grassroots games. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it's fun. Good banter. It, it, like I said, you know, it brings the community together. It connects the people that are playing street soccer with guys that are professional, and we can come out and, and enjoy the game just as much as anyone else. It's not so much work; it's having a good time and, um, and getting a good workout. It. No, I had a good time. You know, I enjoyed myself. Great fitness game. Great technical little game, and 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 it's fun. It's a fun place to be. The energy is electric out here, and uh, everyone's playing hard. It's enjoyable. Um, I, I'm really surprised at the turnout. Like this is like a hidden gem in San Diego. Um, I grew up playing this futsal, street soccer in Queens and in New Jersey. And you know, it's king of the court. Winter stays on. Play as long as you want. Bring your friends, and it's all good vibes. I, the atmosphere, the the environment, the, the there's some good players too, and it's just all ages. You have some kids playing, so I mean, it's great. This is amazing for the community. I absolutely love this. I've been in social media contact with the Bridge Barcada guys for months, a couple years, but to see what they're doing and to see kind of our guys integrating and assimilating into the culture of the moment, it's incredible. It's great for our sport. It's great for the region. I just think it's really cool. Uh, well, I think we're about done. I think amazing turnout. Some new players I haven't seen before. 
some really good players. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better turnout. I mean, this is a great day. It's so much fun. Get the support of the soccer, get to talk to them a little bit. You know, hear their thoughts on like the culture of soccer in San Diego or across the U.S. I'm glad to have them come out. It kind of helps validate what we're doing as a group to show that we're here for the community and it's worth their time to come and join us. So I first heard about Bridge Barcada through some of the fans that I've met over the last couple of years since I moved to San Diego. Uh, we all got connected through the Soccer City effort, um, which didn't happen, and now we're reconnected through the USL San Diego effort. What these guys have done is truly amazing. Um, they an initially said we have this idea to go into Chicano Park, set up some uh, futsal type courts and let people play, and I said, good idea guys, no one's going to come. Look what happened. So they've, uh, they've done a remarkable job. And I think not only for the opportunity to come out on a Saturday morning in this case, get some exercise, have fun playing soccer, but you see people from all over San Diego here, as far as Alpine, far north as Vista, down to Chula Vista, San Ysidro, people from all walks of life are here in San Diego coming out and enjoying the beautiful game, which is awesome. I had a lot of fun so far. It's harder than I thought because these guys are out here playing all the time so they understand the game a little bit better. I'm used to playing on grass and so playing on a street court takes me back to my youth days when that's what we used to do, go play in the street because that's all we had. So it's fun, it's enjoyable, it's a little bit of a different game. Ball's a little heavier but I'm getting used to it and it's a lot of fun. So if you think about players in my generation, I don't want to sound too old, but we didn't have structured regimented practices every day of the week the way kids do now. And I think we're losing something by not having more of this. I would literally go out and kick the ball against the curb a thousand times and work on trapping the ball and then work on passing it. And that's how I got better. When you have the opportunity to just come play with no pressure, your parents aren't around, you just have the opportunity to enjoy the sport for what it is, you have more fun, but it also makes you a better player, right? And so. I think we could use more of this in our communities across America like they do across the world. Have more of this, it's going to make us better. But then it's also um, bringing our community together in a way that I don't think any of us could have foreseen. So I give these guys a ton of credit at Bridge Barcada for doing what they're doing. I'm a big fan and I'll be back out for sure. We all love the game, we love doing what we do and being loud and sort of obnoxious in our own right. But also we, we love interacting with kids and bringing kids into the culture in a respectful way and showing them how to be um, respectful supporters but still active, um, still make an impact on the game. So that's been a, at the core of I think a lot of what we do and what we plan is trying to get kids more involved at a younger age and what it means to be an active supporter.